Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. I'm Cat is Eerie 101. And welcome back to Let's Play Piglet's Big Dr Game. I also have Let's Play Piglet's Big Dream. Piglet's Big Dream. Piglet's Big Dream is to be the best half lump killer in the world. He wants to kill all the elephants he can. <laughs> oh god. Do you hear what I hear? Oh! I didn't actually because these headphones suck. Oh, this bullshit. I hate it. If it sounds like we're fading, we've been here for like an hour and a half. Yeah. Because we had to freeze up and we had to play back <laughs> to where we were and... It just... It hasn't been in our favor today. No. We were having such a good session too, but the game just hated us. Mm-hmm. That cookie bullshit. I hate this. I like this game, but honestly, I really hate the way they hide cookies and I hate these heffalumps. Same. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, 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 that close, Katie. But I was so close. But it's not worth it if you don't know which one it is. <laughs> Got it this time. Yeah, I would hope. <laughs> if it starts ringing, just bail, okay? Yeah. Especially on these guys where you really don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> they're unpredictable. Please be the only one. I can't handle any more of those. That's it. All right. Yeah. Cookie time. Oh, great. <gasps> oh, there's another one. Oh, my God. <laughs> now I gotta cut cookies like this. All slow. Or you can get hit again. Go really fast. Yeah. At least he laughs to give you time. <laughs> How can you screw up the one that gives you? <laughs> I hit the wrong thing by accident. Oh, you I got did. this. E. Oh my god. No. Oh my god, what the hell? Alright. <laughs> you know what? I really- who thought this headphone was a good idea? Someone who really hates children and wanted to scare them. <laughs> But <laughs> well, honestly, I kind of like how scary this game. I, I would miss the fear factor if this game was normal. Yeah, same. Like, honestly, if this was a normal game, I wouldn't really care about it that much. It's the fact that it's so bizarre and frightening that makes me like it so yeah. much. Yeah. Because it's like, this is the only horror game with Winnie the Pooh characters that was actually made by Disney. Alright, All right, now you can get the cookies. I think that was the last of them. It's the last of us. <laughs> God, now we gotta do this. Oh. Right in that inconspicuous. Go faster, piglet. I know. Oh, got caught on that branch. <laughs> <laughs> Who would think to kick this? I told you, the way they hide cookies in the game is really bullshit, especially in these later dreams. Mm hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> At least it streams out in the day. I think it's the first dream in daylight. Oh, yeah. No, that's a lie. The first two were both in daylight. Oh. Wrong way. Yeah, but I got it. Alright, go back there. Um, like there's a log in there, see? Yeah, I see it. No. Nope, nope, never mind. Mm, no. There's like gross poop water to the right. Do you see that? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Looks disgusting. Hope Rabbit doesn't drink out of that. I know. Is that where he gets his water from? No, there's a river right by him. I'm sure he gets the water from that. Well, that's a relief. Oh, man. Where are the cooks? Don't go through that. Oops. That's the exit. <laughs> Almost accidentally went out another exit. <laughs> you can tell where the exits are because the camera stops following you when you get near them. Yeah. Because it's about to load the next room. Yeah. I should know that by now. Yeah, really? Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Oh my god, Piglet, you're such a slow pig. I know. Go faster. They're not here anymore. It's okay. You're just moping all around. It's like, Piglet, just tell yourself you'll feel better. It's Why do like, you need Christopher Robin? It's like he says, like, the most generic, useless advice in the world. Where could there be cookies? I don't know. In here? In this little bush of- No, try like the other fences. It probably is in this fence. 
but like I'm not hitting it at the right angle. What about this rock? Oh, nope, that fence. It was the fence just- <laughs> And they all went on the other side. You were just at nice. the wrong angle, I didn't like it. How, okay, how come that angle is allowed that the cookies come on the other side? I don't know. You think they wouldn't allow that? Yes. There we go. I think there's only one room left in this dream with cookies. Huh. His nervous face. Alright, go grab that, whatever that is. That's a key to that that circle room. Way back with the beanstalk. Oh. <laughs> now we're gonna run all the way back. Oh boy. <laughs> Do that after that, the dream's done. Alright. I, I just want to see the choo choo train. I know, that's the best part, isn't it? I love trains. And hopefully we'll pass Christopher Robin on the way. We will, he's in the next room over. No, it's actually, it feels weird. We haven't ran a train in like two weeks. I know, isn't that weird? We were riding a train so often during like the semester. I just feel like I'm going to have to go back to my dorm room. You no. Know? No, you lived in the worst dorm. Even if you do live on campus ever again, you'll never live in that building again. Yeah, never again. Besides, that's like, that's like a freshman dorm. And if I'm like a senior or something, I would not want to live in a freshman dorm building. I'd just be so mad all the time. Well, it's like, it's not just freshmen, that's for, like, the douchey freshmen. That's for, like, all, like, like there are two kinds of potage. The kind who just smokes pot, and then there's the kind who's, like, obnoxious and obsesses over pot, and it's all like, Toke up, bro, you should smoke with me, dude. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's like, that building's full of the second kind. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Christopher Robin. Definitely. I, I feel better already. Piglet, that's all you know. How come he hasn't murdered Christopher Robin yet? That's a good question. Piglet's killed everyone else. Well, because Christopher Robin is the one person he trusts in this game. What about Pooh? Uh, I don't know. What about those terrifying face machines? Well, you don't see Pooh telling Piglet to uh, believe in himself in this game. That's because Pooh's off eating honey somewhere. <laughs> as long as there are no more stupid robot killer heffalumps, I'll be happy. Let's just cut ahead to over there. Okay. Actually, no, we're not, because we're right there. Uh oh. I love how right here it's just like... Like, Rabbit's just like fucking sitting there watching. I know! Like, come on, you're not even stuck anymore! What's your excuse? Talk to him, see what he says. Please get the conveyor belt running again, Piglet. God damn it, Rabbit, it's your conveyor belt. I know, why should I be Hell, doing Look at him sitting there with his air conditioning he, blowing on him. He just needs those carrots to get to that car. Rabbit, just pick him up and bring him there. I know. Oh it's not God. like this is a it's big amazing. harvest or anything you need to do the gate. Like, like all you need to do, Rabbit, is God damn, just, just put them in the car. <laughs> Where's his house, even? Man, that rabbit really gets me mad. I know, let's make some bunny shoe. The key to here. Yeah. Cool. And that's where you finally use that goddamn shovel that we got at the beginning of the dream. Oh yeah. Like two hours ago. I forgot about that shovel. <coughs> How's it going, shovel? It was the first thing we grabbed. <laughs> Alright in here. It's like a circle room with like a bunch of woozles and oh, shit. Oh god. What <laughs> where is it? There it is. Oh she's this normal one. Oops. I suck. I can tell you're fading. It's like we're, we're tired now. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like people don't realize it when like you sit down and do a let's play for two hours. It's like you get kind of exhausted. I know. Like thank God we don't have to do a final boss because uh, <laughs> like like your like your fingers they don't get tired but they get sloppy. Your voice gets tired and like your eyes get tired. That's, and you like stop focusing. That's true. I um, hear him. Where? Where? There he is. Wake up. Wake up and run that way. Oh, that oh. works too. I was gonna say, because you're gonna look that way, so. Oh. What the hell? He fell back asleep. Oh. Yeah, go there on this way. He falls he... asleep quite dramatically. I know. <gasps> that startled me. Yeah, because he looks this way. So that's why I said, like, run this way. Mm -hmm. I get you. <laughs> when this is done, do you want to go out to lunch or something? Yes. Would you be willing to I'm pay? I'm so I'm, hungry. I'm broke. Would you be willing to pay? Uh, I can I can drive us. All right. I need to get more practice. So, um, <laughs> my old car I had was a Pontiac Grand Prix, and uh, I had that for many years. However, the transmission just died on it, and it cost too much to, uh, to repair the transmission. Mm hmm So, um... Now, I, my dad gave me his old car because um, he got a new one. His old car is a Chevy Sonic with a manual transmission. So I have, the last couple of weeks, been teaching myself to drive manual. I've had a little bit of practice. My dad's helped me a bit. 
Yeah, he's and, doing uh, well. Well enough. I can get from point A to point B. Um, I haven't stalled in a while, so that's good. Yeah. That's terrifying when you stall. It's like, I try so hard not to, like, you know, well, show you that I'm scared. Well, is when you stall, like, an intersection. Like, that sucks. But, like, I don't yeah. know. It hasn't happened to me since, like, the first week or two. That's good. The problem is I don't drive anywhere now, like, on the off semester, because I don't have anywhere to go. Yeah, except, like, my house. <laughs> yes, and you live a five-minute walk from my house. You're Okay, so, like, in Philadelphia, Kay lived across the street from me, and now that we're both moved back with our parents because we're both out of money, she lives a five-minute walk up the hill. <laughs> yeah. So we went from walking through the city to walking through, like, bumblefuck farmland. <laughs> Although, honestly, there are a lot of things I like about this area, so. Yeah. There are things I like about the city, too. It's like, they both have their pros and cons to it. Like, I think I definitely prefer living in the suburbs. Well, I like but... right here is you can see the stars, like the UFO we saw the other night. Yeah, we saw a UFO the other night. Not even kidding. I, I don't think it was aliens, but it was definitely something fishy in the sky. It was a star. I'll, I'll draw this on screen. So I was like, first, I saw a shooting star, then come to a dead stop. <laughs> Go around, like, like start doing shit. And then, um... Oh, fuck, there's a joke I was going to make out this, so hold on. Th then, like, like the star was there, and there was, like, this triangle with, like, these other two stars, and you could clearly see the one on top, which was the one that was shooting and landed there, swaying back and forth, moving up sometimes. It was also flashing brighter and dimmer, but, like, not with a pattern. Yeah. It was, like, like what the I thought it must have been, like, maybe a drone or something that was being, like, sent out. Mm -hmm. But, like, I saw it moving, too. And, it was, like, we all saw it moving in the same direction every time, and it's like, okay, that can't be our eyes playing tricks on us. I think it was probably a drone, because it was way too high to be a helicopter, I thought. Yeah. Or was it, like, making, like, the, like the green light flashes or anything? I don't know. I don't think it was aliens, but maybe yeah. it was. All right, uh, just shovel that shit. Shovel this half a lump shit. Because <laughs> like it a, looks like a pile of poop. That piglet's all like, ah, got manual labor from goddamn fucking rabbit piece of shit. I don't even know what I'm doing. He didn't ask me to put coal in this goddamn thing. <laughs> just fucking rabbit. Ugh, there we go. You see how angry he looked? He did. <laughs> it's because he's doing chores for rabbit now. Do I have to, like, turn that on or something? Yeah, yeah. Which you're actually supposed to click that button first, and then it, like, oh. doesn't go on, and that's why Piglet knows he's got to put coal in. <laughs> there we go. He's like, I'm going to cook rabbit in this. <laughs> oh. Do we have all the cookies in the stream? Mm. I think we do, actually. Yeah, we're just... So, we have three minutes left before we're going to end off this episode, but honestly, I... Th th we only got, like, five minutes of gameplay left, so this is for a little long. So let's cut head back to when we're with rabbit. Yeah. Oh, we're back. Yes. Ooh, can we ride the train now? No, Rabbit rides the train. We watch him. Oh, there he goes. Look at this fat ass. <laughs> you know, Rabbit, that wouldn't have happened if you had just helped us. <laughs> oh, his whiskers are glitching. Oh. Oh, that's where the lighting is. <gasps> oh my god, Rabbit, this is your fault. <laughs> He's so lazy. God. I know. It's like everyone else, you're helping with the problem. Rabbit, you're like, do some chores for me, Piglet. Look at him just watching with his hands See, it's on like, his hips. Like, you know those little stumps we've been saying? Oh. Yeah, you gotta, like... Like, do something with them? I th no, go talk to Rabbit again. I, we should have listened to what he said. Yeah. One day we'll learn to just listen to what the computer characters say. Maybe in the last stream. Oh. Oh, oh. oh but I didn't know... Ouch. Piglet, what's going on? Just push down on the wooden log to open the gate for me. Oh my god, I'm speechless <laughs> oh, right now. Oh, rabbit. At least, at least we get to see the train go. I wish you could ride it, that'd be fun. Oh, now it's... it was. I think we had to make him crash first. Yeah, so we could sass us. Thanks. Uh, uh, you're welcome. What's powering this train? Okay, you, you keep hitting your headphone into the uh, microphone. Mm. That's why I keep putting it back here. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. was pushed down on the wooden log to open the gate for me. <laughs> Am I supposed to, like, be going... Was I supposed to, like, go open them all first? Yeah. Oops. Hi but it's there. like, whatever. Rabbit's a dick. I, I want to see him crash every time. You're supposed to, like, he just, like, whooshes through. I don't know. Maybe you can't until he crashes, honestly. Maybe. Oh! I mean, Piglet's enjoying it. He's sadistic. Oh, my God. I've never actually tried to go, like, open them all along the way. I think that's what you're supposed to do, though. Mm-hmm, probably. So, thoughts on the stream? You enjoy it? I enjoyed it, yeah. The only part I didn't enjoy was the freezing. Mm-hmm. And, like, that was just a weird glitch, you know? Yeah. 
That one was disgusting. On the wooden log to open the gate. Oh my it's god, like, rabbit. <laughs> I think my favorite part of the stream was that scary, like, garden In the sky. stock thing. No, it's like, this game is super, super creative with its scenery and level design. I really like that. Yeah. But other than that, like, I mean, the stream was good, but... It ends up lower than, like, Owls or Eeyores, you know? Right. It was my favorite as a kid just because the train segment, which I still think is cool. Yeah, I like the train. Uh, thanks. Uh, thanks. You know, you could sound a little more grateful. You can sound a little more grateful because Piglet's about to take out his butchering knife and slice <laughs> Rabbit's head off. It's like, I, like, gah! Like, Rabbit, do you even know who you're dealing with? This is the pig. Do you know how many elephants he's killed? Well, that background does not look good. No. Why is it like a roller coaster? <laughs> Yo, Rabbit, why did you design it like this? More importantly, how can he says it the exact same way with the exact same delivery every time? I know. Why is he getting like progressively angrier at you? Like, you know, Rabbit, I can only move so fast. No, Rabbit, you can just climb out and do this yourself. Yeah, he's the one riding the roller coaster. Honestly, Rabbit hasn't needed our help since he got unstuck. I know. He just sat there the whole time while I dealt with those robots. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god. <laughs> they just made that jump perfectly. Piglet, please. You must help me out of this cart, or we'll be facing an utter disaster. You still need more help, Rabbit, are you kidding? <laughs> How come it didn't go all the way into the shack? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Piglet. Without your help, the rain would surely have ruined my precious What rain? Carrots. It's not even raining. You're very welcome, Rabbit. Piglet looks confused, too. Nothing, really. So also, he wasn't a little, he wasn't even like slightly lip synced there. <laughs> I feel like this year is a really abrupt, awkward ending. Is that yeah. Rabbit's house? That's a trashy house, Rabbit. Where does he live? No offense. Does he live in that cave? <laughs> oh, he lives in Pooh's dream, remember? Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Pooh was the only character who didn't show a house then in this game. Hmm. Wasn't he? Yeah. He was just in Candy World. Candy World, yeah. Well, that's it for this dream. Yeah, fun times. All right, well, join us next episode as we go into the final dream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Cut as you off there. As we go into the final dream, which is... Tigger's dream. Ooh. See y'all next episode. See ya.